Now today I'm going to be making a soup. I'm going to make a butternut squash chilli and garlic soup. Nice simple ingredients but it all comes together and makes something really delicious. So for making up this soup I'm just going to go through the ingredients I'm going to use. Now I've got my butternut squash there. I did weigh mine. Mine weighs about one kilogram. The one we do is slice it down the middle, put some olive oil and I'm going to nestle these four cloves of garlic, you know, in amongst it and we're going to roast that, get a beautiful flavour. Now while that roasting, I'm also going to be cooking up a couple of onions, slice them down, chop them up fairly fine with some butter, a little bit of olive oil. Then we're going to add a chilli. Now this is a medium chilli. Obviously the chilli, you could have a hot one or you could have two medium or if you don't like chilli so much, just have a mild one. I'm going to take the seeds out because that's always the really hot part and I'm just going to use the red. So chop it down reasonably fine and add that in with the onions. Now I've also got some cumin powder. I'm going to use one teaspoon. That'll just give it a lovely flavour. Now we've also got some stock. I'm going to be using vegetable stock roughly about 800 millilitres of boiling water and you can either use two of these little cubes of vegetable stock and let them dissolve or you can use this powder this is bullion vegetable sort of powder and I find that really delicious I'll probably use about four teaspoons of bullion powder you know we do that to taste so there's all the ingredients for making up the soup. Now, just at the end, and this is optional, you could add either creme fraiche or you could have some natural yogurt and just add a little bit of that in and, you know, it just make it a little bit smoother and nicer. And, you know, I know not everybody likes the creme fraiche or it's maybe a little bit fattening, but a little dollop, a couple of dollops, and it will just really make a tasty soup. So that's optional, but I think it's a nice one to go with it. So there's all the ingredients. What I'm going to do first of all is get the butternut squash all prepared, ready to go in the oven. Got myself a knife, nice sharp one, so do be careful. And just, I find if you roast them in the skins, it's easier than trying to sort of scoop it out before you put it in the oven. Let's just cut that there. I can open this up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop all these little pips and that out, like little membrane, like in pumpkins really, scoop that out. And then I'm going to sort of slice it into like cubes and then we can just add the garlic, a little bit of olive oil. So let's start off with getting all the sort of mixture out of there. Right, let's just put a plate there. Now, I'll go around first of all, see if I can just do it with a teaspoon. Yeah, it seems to be working. I don't know if you can see in the background there. I'll just scrape that in there. I mean, it's quite tough, so don't worry, you can give it a bit of force. And if you can't get it all out, just use a bit of tissue and kind of grab it and it'll make your life easy. But it's not the end of the world if you can't get it out. Just get, you know, all the pips out anyway. So that one's done. Let's just do the other one as well. That's it. Done the both of them. Now, next of all, what we want to do is be careful at this point is just grab hold of it nice and tight and just go along almost to cut like little cubes and that'll probably make it easier later on to get it out the skin that's the other thing I should do there that one's done now with the garlic I'm just going to leave them in the pot there look in the skin just put them in there and gonna get some olive oil. Before I put the olive oil on, I might as well just put them in a tray there. That's it. Put two in a tray. Let's just put a little bit of olive oil. Lovely. Lovely. Now, what we're gonna do is put that into a preheated oven. So I'm going to place that in the oven. Now I've got mine at 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, Gas Mark 6. And what I'd say is you want to cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. So whilst I've got the butternut squash and the garlic cloves roasting in the oven, I'm just going to get on with cooking up the onions and all the rest of it, the, you know, the chilli and stuff. So I'm going to start off a little bit of butter. Let's also switch the heat on. 
That's it. I'm going to do it on a fairly lowish heat. Now, a little bit of butter there, just adds a little bit of flavour. And also, we can mix that with some oil. I'm going to use olive oil. That's it. Now I've got the butter and the oil just kind of mixed together there. If it's not sizzling, then turn it up a little bit. Now we're going to put in the onions and the chilli. So just carefully put that in. This is where your kitchen smells absolutely beautiful. Now I'll just give that a quick stir. There. Now I'm going to add in the cumin, so roughly about one teaspoon, can be a bit more. There you go, one heat. I like a bit of cumin. Just get a mix that up, get everything coated. Now you can put just a little bit of salt in there as well. Do is to soften down the onions. Now I'm going to put a lid on mine on a fairly low heat and I'm going to cook mine for about 25-30 minutes. So let's put a lid on, nice low heat and just cook until you know it's all softened down a little bit. Now I've been cooking the onions Coming up for 25 minutes and I've given the occasional stir and these are softening down absolutely lovely. Look at that, beautifully soft. And the smells with that cumin and chilli is just wonderful. Now what I'm gonna do, I've got the, you know, the butter squash with the garlic and that's pretty much had about 45, 50 minutes. So I'm gonna take it out of the oven and we're gonna scoop it out and put it in the, the same pan here. Now I've just taken that from out of the oven and it is really quite hot so do be careful, maybe use a cloth if you can and kind of grab it. Now I'm just going to pull this out and I'm just going to put it in there because all those juices I'm going to put those in the pan so you just really want to scrape all the flesh and leave the skin behind. And with the cloves you want to pop those out so I'll carry on getting that all out and leave the skin behind. Now I've scooped out most of the flesh, just the skin left. Now with these garlics, you should be able to just pop those out. These are going to be delicious, these garlics. They're nicely roasted and really soft. Look how easy that is to squeeze out. Oh, roasted garlic is so delicious. Now, that's it, got all those out. Now they can go straight in the pot, so. juice from that pan as well. So now I've got that all in the pan, I'm just going to switch my kettle on and we're going to put some vegetable stock in there. And I'm just going to switch the heat on, get it going, so start it off on high very quickly. Got a spoon, just get that a quick cross around in there. And then we can put in, now, I would say about 800 millilitres. Enough to cover it really, so roughly about that. So now I've got the water in there, I just need to add the vegetable stock. Now I said I'm gonna use bouillon, this powder, and I'm gonna use roughly one, two, three, four, four teaspoons, give that a stir, turn it down a little bit, so it's just sort of bubbling away, just leave it for 10 minutes and then we're going to come and taste it. Now in total I've had this pot cooking for 35 minutes, the first 25 minutes you remember we're just softening down the onions with the chilli in that olive oil, cumin and butter, give it a nice base. And then, you know, what we did after 25 minutes was added in the roasted butternut squash and the roasted garlic. Now, it's a good opportunity 
to give it a quick taste, so let's just see what we've got here. Let's have a quick taste. Mm. Oh, it's mm. got a lovely flavour. I tend to like mine just a little bit hotter than that. Now I've got some chilli flakes. I'm not going to go overboard, but I'm going to give it a light sprinkling of chilli flakes just to give it a little bit extra kick. Again, give that a stir up. Now what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to blend mine, so make it all nice and smooth. You don't have to if you don't want to, you could just put the lid, maybe cook for another five or ten minutes, add the creme fraiche or the yogurt and you could serve it up. Now I'm going to obviously blend mine, so let's make sure it's switched off first of all. That's it. I've got my stick blender here. It's better, it's better to do it when it's actually cooled down a little bit, but anyway, I'll be careful. <laughs> So I've been whisking it up with your stick blender and we've got a nice smooth sort of mixture now so let's just take that away. Now again it doesn't hurt just to have a quick taste, see what you think. Mmm, oh, it's starting to taste lovely, nice and smooth now. Now I am going to add a little bit of the, the creme fraiche into this mixture. Obviously you could just do it individually in their bowls, but I think this is going to be nice. So let me get a spoon. Just going to put a couple of dollops in there. This is going to richen it up lovely, lovely. Now the only thing you've got to do next, is just make sure you've got the right amount of seasoning. Because it's, you know, even putting the creme fresh in, it will affect things, so use this spoon. Let's see what it is. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely out creme fraiche. I think for me it's got the right amount of salt. It's got a little bit of clip, sort of hit from the sort of chilli flakes. Just a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And I think we're there. Because don't forget, even the stock, you know, that's got a bit of salt and seasoning in there. So, you know, check it for seasoning and get it how you like it. But I think that's beautiful. I'm going to go and serve some of that up. That's it. Let's have one more. One more bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Let's just bring that in the view. So, obviously, even at this stage, if you wanted to put a little bit of creme fraiche, yogurt on top, Sprinkle a little bit of coriander maybe, could be nice. Now, I've got me bread here. This is that soda bread I made earlier. So, let's just try a little bit of that with that. Get myself a spoon and see what it's like. Yeah, no, that's a little lump there. Hmm, let's have a little lump. Mmm, mm. that is, oh, that is lovely, you get the sweetness from the butternut, from the but butternut squash, oh, lovely sweetness, and that kick of the chilli, mmm, I think that little bit of creme fraiche we added, the roasted garlic, the roasted flavour definitely comes through, this is lovely, absolutely lovely, I'm going to sit down and finish this all off, mm. Before I do, got myself that bread. So let's just grab a piece, just for a little bit of dipping in. Here's my dinner, so let's just have a good dip of that. Enjoy that with that soda bread. Oh, that is spot on. Mm. Really nice, get a bit of crunch. Um, it sucks up the flavours and just gives the soup a real good substance. So, can't make this bread, it didn't take long. Delicious. Thanks for watching my videos. Hopefully, see you on the next one. All the best, the original Naked Chef. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed or rated my videos, 
I always appreciate that. See you soon. <laughs>